Sandal. I am Gassan. Hi, I am Akman. We are Team Laziness Assassins and this is our Stage 3 video presentation. Now, let's get into it. Background study. Based on the previous two stages of SNH 2021, Malaysia is one of the countries that has many existing and potential hazards. In stage 1, we know that Malaysia has a high rate of fatalities at the workplace. In stage 2, data collection was conducted to understand how daily Malaysian activities can contribute to hazards. In stage 3, we have to propose an engineering solution to remove the highest risk. Problem statement. In stage 3, we have been given a task to propose an engineering solution to help to reduce the hazard with the highest risk based on the MATLAB program that we have produced. Based on the program, falling from the status is the hazard with the highest risk and therefore we have to propose an engineering solution in order to lower this risk to an acceptable level. So the objectives for each stages are to understand the concept of sustainable development and benchmarking, to understand hard table and audit and data collection strategy, to identify and categorize hazards that will threaten the safety and health at home, to understand more about what is an engineering solution and risk reduction, to find the best ways or theory that can help in lowering the risk, and last but not least, to build a technology that is usable for all people in Malaysia. So let's move on to stage 1 literature review. So firstly, we got sustainable development and goals. Sustainable development is basically the development to meet the requirements of the present without interfering with coming generation to meet their own needs. There are three pillars of sustainability. One is environment, two economy and lastly social. And there's 17 sustainable development goals that have been set by United Nations in 2015. Next, we move on to benchmarking. So benchmarking is the way to improve and identify the weak points of your business or performance by comparing them with other companies or organizations. So we've been using benchmarking to compare our data with different kind of countries. And lastly is safety and health. Safety is the term referring to control plus reduction of hazard in all their form. And health is not only the disappearance of illness, it is also the condition of poor physical, mental, social well-being of the people. ICTO consists of two main parts. The first one is the hierarchy table, whereas the second one is the audit and data collection strategies. So the first one is a compound word consisting of hazard identification, risk assessment, and also risk control. Its main function is to either reduce or eliminate the hazards from our life. Whereas in the second uh, part, we found that there are four most occurring hazards at our houses, which are slips and falls, poisons, fire and electrocutions, and the exposure to sharp objects. It is also found that the main causes to these hazards are the type of floors, which is the main factor in the increased number of slips and falls, especially among elders, whereas the improper storing conditions lead to more poisons cases, as well as sharp object-related injuries, especially among children. Engineering solution is the notion of issue analysis and problem solution using an engineering process. It can help engineers in solving many problems in a systematic and analytic way by applying engineering knowledge and experience. Risk reduction is a process of reducing a risk exposure towards zero or near to zero. It is generally more common to optimize a risk rather than to minimize them. One of the examples is safety and health. There are a few ways to reduce risk such as risk transfer, risk mitigation, risk prevention, and risk preparedness. In stage 1, by using the concept of benchmarking, we compare the data collected in Malaysia with data from other countries. From the chart, Malaysia has the highest rate of occupational fatality which is 4.14 per 100,000 persons employed in 2018 compared to other countries. This is due to Malaysia's workers are exposed to a hazardous practice which could cause their safety to be compromised. According to the survey conducted on a typical Malaysian university student and their families, it can be clearly seen from the graph that physical hazards form the highest average risk, specifically climbing or running on the staircases. The focal point for this is people living in a double-story houses. 
Immediate safety precautions and measures need to be applied in order to reduce this risk into an acceptable level. Our innovation is to install an anti slip mat on the staircase. To prevent slips and fall from the staircase, it will increase the friction between our foot and the staircase. I will explain some of its components and first, it contains a light sensor that will light up in the dark. Besides that, it also has a sensor buzzer that will give warning to the user when there is a danger. It also has an airbag that prevents people from getting injured by people falling from the staircase. And also, it generates electricity to light up the sensor. As you can see, this is our improvised test map which is not available in the market yet. It has anti-slip design which can increase the friction between the floor and our foot to prevent slips and fall from the staircase. Secondly, we can see that there is a light sensor position below the edge of the every stairs. It will light up automatically in the dark. Then, sensor buzzer will give warning to the user when the user steps on the edge of the stairs. This is to prevent they misstep on the stairs. Compressed airbag is placed on the lower stairs and it will pop out when someone falling from the staircase to reduce injuries. What makes our innovation so special? Well, it got four amazing features making it extraordinary. Firstly, it is an anti slip mat made of biodegradable plastic, which makes it eco friendly. Secondly, its light sensors are made of LED lights since they use less amount of energy. Thirdly, its transducers are made of uh, lead. They can generate electricity and store it into the batteries. Lastly, it is affordable. It can be afforded by the average Malaysian citizen. Now let's take a look at the cost of our innovation. The average cost of our product is 83 Malaysian ringgit, and this is because our product is environmentally friendly as it uses biodegradable plastic as the material it has motion sensor to alert people from falling down the stairs, has a light sensor which turns on when it is dark, has a built-in airbags that can save people from falling and can generate electricity, and uses rechargeable battery when there is no electricity. When we look at a normal anti slip mat, it only costs 40 ringgit, which is half the price of our innovation, but it does not have any of the modification that we have in our product. Therefore, our product is quite pricey, but it can still be afforded by the average Malaysian citizens. So, why we propose this engineering solution? So, based on our MATLAB programming, we have found out that the falling and tripping from stairs is a hazard that causes the highest risk. As you can see there, a demonstration of how our program works. Therefore, we have to propose a solution that can reduce this risk to an acceptable level, which is 1 to 2. Right now, it is on the level uh, high level, which is 4 to 5. So we need to change it to 1 to 2. People fall from stairs most likely because the tiles used on stairs are very slippery and the anti slip mat is the solution to the problem as it has rougher surface causing people will not slip when going down or going up the stairs. So in conclusion, safety and health has been a concerning issue in Malaysia for the longest time. It is important to know what are the factors that affect the quality of safety and health and take immediate precautions in order to improve it. We can conclude that engineering plays a major role in this issue and making use of engineering knowledge to come up with a solution has to be the most effective problem solver. On that note, we can learn that the quality of safety and health is all in our hands. We are responsible for the events occurring around us and we are responsible for each and every consequences. So make a wise decision and make Malaysia a better place to live.